What's up, everybody? My name's Russ with rwgresearch.com. You guys know that, but I gotta say it anyway. So welcome to 2017. This is the first video of the year. People are making big announcements about the year ending and the year starting. And I kind of feel the other way. I kind of feel like I don't want to make a big deal out of it. So what I'm going to do is not reflect on anything I've done, and I'm not going to reflect on anything I'm going to do. I'm just going to say, this is freaking awesome. It's another day, and let's move on. Granted, I like watching some of these videos people are producing. However, I've done way too much to even mention. Too much to even talk about. So here's what my thoughts are. Um, I got my notes here. So this is an RWG CRV. This is how I'm starting the year. So I'm going to answer some of your comments that you left in the last video. Leave new ones in this one. I will get to the comments last. But first, I want to talk about a few things. Um, so here's why I'm not going to look forward. Looking back is always fun. I've done a lot of cool stuff. You know, this is one of them right here. And it's come a long way. Um, this is actually not the one making noise. The one over there is. <laughs> anyway. Uh, this thing's like silent. So I don't like looking forward for one reason. I've learned a hard lesson a long time ago, and that was don't talk about what you're going to do. Just talk about what you're doing and leave it at that. And the reason is is because if I sit here and tell you that I'm going to finish this printer this year and I'm going to do this this year, and for some reason I don't get to it, to be honest with you, most people who actually care That'll add a weight on their shoulder, okay? And for me, I've done things in the past where I've said, hey, I'm gonna do something, and I don't get to it because of life happens, something happens, whatever the case may be, doesn't really matter. It's just, it's in here now, and it, it bothers me anyway when I do that to myself. So that's why I'm not gonna tell you what I'm gonna do this year, because I'm just gonna do some awesome stuff and hope you guys enjoy it. However, I will tell you one thing I'm gonna try to do more. I'm going to try to do this more because I find that after many years, and I mean many years on YouTube, I've had this channel since 2006, so it's been 10 years, um, probably coming up in the next couple months, I don't know when, in 2006 I started this channel. And here's what I've sort of learned, I've learned that you guys really like to see problem solving. You like to see me run into an issue and then solve the problem and then see the process and then finish it, and I actually really enjoy that. So I'm going to attempt to capture that more. So some of my videos might end up being a little more talky-talky, but that's what you have to do to problem solve. You have to talk about the problem, and you have to work through it. This printer right here is exactly an example of that. I've taken this printer, and I've done some pretty cool stuff, uh, and I've run through a lot of troubles. And there's been three or four videos where I've just sat here and talked about this printer. Uh, and you guys actually really like that. And to be honest, I think that's a great idea, because Making something, I have a few videos coming up that I'm pr producing right now that it's just like me making something without much description at all. It's just me going through the whole thing in little snippets of description. And it's a cool, going to be, I hope, a really cool video. But it's, it doesn't really walk you through the crazy amount of problem solving that I had to do. And so, um, so I, I like that. So I'm going to try to answer your questions now. That's all I got to say for the RWGA CRV. The rest of it will be your comments. Leave new comments, questions in the comments. I'm going to start out with the big one, all right? The big one. What happened with Stan Meyer's project? I'm not going to go into detail. I've already done that in past videos. But some people want to know, am I, am I you know, going to make some more videos on that? Uh, a few here and there, yes. I'm actually working on it right now. I've reset up the lab at home, as you saw in the last CRV, to work on Stan Meyer stuff. The good, the bad, and the ugly, I'll share what I can when I, when I, when I run across it. Right now I've been winding new coils and testing things and it's, it's just the stuff that has to be done that I'm not going to videotape everything um, because I've, I've really already videotaped a lot of this stuff in the past so you can go watch the old videos. But yes, I'm still working on that project. It's really exciting to me still and hopefully there's some new things coming up and we'll get some more progress done. That's that. Um, vortex coils, somebody asked me about vortex coils and they basically want me to show more of that. I have a snippet. I could publish of me and my daughter messing around with that coil. I think it's like a 20 minute video or something. I dropped my note. 
And uh, it's like a 20 minute video or something. And I think I'll do that. I think I'll just po post that on there and you guys can watch it for those of you who want to see it. And then when I get time, I will be doing more of that. I really, really, really want to do more of that. I'm just limited on time. Um, somebody wanted to know how the L and the R is going and, that, and then someone else asked about the Schlenk line, the vacuum system. So what I'm gonna do is give you the, uh, the five minute tour here in the uh, Quantum Gravity Research Laboratory. This is not my facility. This facility is owned by my boss who I work for. But all of my crap is here. So all of the stuff that's up here uh, right here, all this stuff and this stuff and all the stuff down here and that magnetizer right there and this printer and, and that printer that's over there. And I, I have a lot of my stuff here. I can use this facility. Oh, and this milling machine that I never made a video about yet. This is the milling machine I told you guys about uh, in my Easter uh, video, the most important video ever, if you watched it. That's what I labeled it. Uh, the EDM. So yeah, I've been working on this 3D printer. I redid the hot end a little bit and I've been trying to adjust it. I'll have a video hopefully published soon on that, but I got to do some more work to actually finish that video. Um, but that printer is working really well. This one is doing an auto calibration at the moment and it seems to be, uh, yeah, this thing seems to be working like really well. Sorry, I'm giving you the five minute tour before I answer those last two questions, but um, but that's really cool. Here's one of the circuit boards that you'll see soon. Uh, this is a bifiler um, flat pancake Tesla coil on a copper clad board. So I got some more details of that coming up, but that's, that's actually cut on the, uh, on the OSD, which is pretty freaking sweet. Uh, the pressure cell, as you can see, this looks a little about the same as it did, but slightly different. Um, I'm currently running a test and I just am testing the connection that I put on here. And this is the video I've been working on. I got some fun stuff to come up about that. Uh, it's a mess over here, ignore all of my mess. But uh, I made, this, uh, I made this, this chamber and that's, uh, that's one of the videos I've been coming up. I've been working with other things and stuff, but let's go over to the lab. Let's walk over to the lab. Da 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 da. Here is the lab, as you guys know. So how is LNER going? Well, the pressure DSC, as you saw, that's out there, differential scanning calorimeter, that's the thing that was out there. Um, it's, uh, it's coming along. I've almost got it to the point where I'm ready to go. I just got done pressure testing it, been running the lab view tests on it. Um, so then the, the last thing I have to answer, the questions in the comments, there weren't too many. That was kind of nice of you not to kill me with comments or questions, but honestly, uh, I'll try to answer all of them I can when I get them. So um, yeah, this is working really well. I actually have one more video that I never finished when I was setting this up, which was sort of the first test, uh, actual, actually doing something in here. So I will start editing that as well. Um, one of my goals for, for, um, for this year, I just said not to talk about goals, but you can set, you can set some, uh, some ideas out there as long as you don't hold your hold yourself to it, to the fire, um, and, and actually uh, tell people you're, you're gonna absolutely 100% sure do it. But one of the things I wanna do is go back and actually edit a lot of the old content. So I recorded a crap ton of old content. Um, I've actually got quite a, quite a collection of really interesting videos where I went down to UCLA and uh, I was using the machines down there. And it's, it's something I just got to sit down and edit. I even had stuff from John Hutchinson's visit that I got to sit down and edit. Um, I was having some issues with that uh, in the first place, which is part of the reason why I, um, I never published some of those videos that I was going to. Oh, can, oh yeah, how about that? I'm trying to get this all in one take. I don't want to edit this footage. <laughs> I want to make this easy for me. So. Um, it's still running the AutoCal. I'm probing every uh, 15 millimeters at a radius of 100 and, uh, no, yeah, 130. So that's a lot of points. Uh, anyway, uh, so yeah, I got, I got to edit the, I just, I have a lot of footage, 
a lot of footage. Um, and it's just going to take a lot of time to get it done. The other thing, uh, the other thing that I've been working on, of course, is the uh, the Toyota coil winder. It's currently up here because I don't have room at home, and so I haven't had time to. I haven't had as, no, as much time as I'd like to work on that either. But you know, it is what it is, and we'll get there when we get there. So anyway, uh, don't forget, definitely leave your comments. They're all pulled up right there right now because I was reading them, making sure that uh, I got through all of them, and I think I did. So peace and love. God bless. Have a good day. And uh, it's 2017. I hope to do some amazing stuff in 2017. I also ordered some new cutters, some very expensive ones, and that'll make my life much better cutting circuit boards. Uh, oh, and one last thing. Uh, the extruder project should be coming back into the window within the next couple of months. I don't know how long it'll take me to really get there, but um, Bob has uh, some software to test. Um, if you guys don't remember Bob from Making Stuff channel, YouTube channel, uh, he was working on that. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's all I got. I'll leave you guys alone. I'm not going to jibber jabber for the rest of the day. Cheers, and uh, don't forget to leave that comment and let me know what you want me to answer in the next RWG CRV. I think this is number five. I only did the last one two weeks ago. The other ones were like six months apart. Oh man. I really want to show you guys uh, what this map looks like. So I got to edit this anyway. I'll show you. Oh. It takes a while because of how I got things set up, but it is what it is. We oh, almost crashed. So, this is pretty cool, just out. This is the built-in map software that was just released. You can see my bed is not great. I don't know what this point right here is. It, I don't know, there's something funky happening. That's not a real, mess, that's not an actual point that's messed up. Anyway, this is built right into the web interface of the uh, of the Due. Oh yeah, there's 241 points probed. So yeah, that that took a little bit of time. Um, and then uh, I'm gonna close this so you can see the some of the dimensions down there, the area probed and the uh, deviations, the mean error, maximum deviations. Well, anyway, uh, and that that is generated from this. Uh, this height map right here. So anyway, that's why I really like the Due because uh, to be honest with you, there are actual support people. I've been uh, answering, asking and being answered of questions all the time. So highly recommend that thing. Oh, there's the extruder thing. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Hope this doesn't make you real sick. I can't spin very well in this chair. Bye.